Marshall Ferguson here with your 2023 Ottawa Red Blacks season preview. Last we saw the Red Blacks on the field, they were 4-14 and on the season, tied for the worst record in the Canadian Football League. Paul Lapalisse was let go as the head coach. They missed the playoffs, and that meant they had to make some changes going into this year. Officially, Bob Dice has been named as the head coach of the organization, full belief behind him, and he brought in Kahari Jones, the former head coach of the Montreal Alouettes, who was working with the Hamilton Tiger Cats last season as his offensive coordinator, while Baron Miles comes in to run the defense. In terms of players on the field, Javon Santos Knox, standout linebacker from the Hamilton Tiger Cats, he makes his way to Ottawa, and on the offensive line, Drew Desjardins comes in, a very high draft pick previously of the Winnipeg Blue Bombers, who left, has come back and should immediately upgrade what they're doing. I also wonder how quickly first overall selection in the 2023 CFL Draft, Dante Bull out of Fresno State, will bring his hulking frame all the way to Ottawa to potentially get some starts. It has been a very difficult couple of years for the Red Blacks and they need to get a home win to allow those fans to celebrate a victory after giving the team so much support. If they're going to do that, I think Jeremiah Masoli is going to play a huge role. Coming off the broken leg, of course, in 2022, when he is at his very best, I believe the Red Blacks can contend in this East Division. It'd be great to have some help on defense, of course. And last year, the biggest story was Lorenzo Malden having so many sacks and influencing so many games. On CFL preseason futures, you can select whether or not Lorenzo Malden is going to have over or under 15.5 sacks in 2023. If he does, it would go a long way to helping the Red Blacks defense get this team over the top and back into the conversation at the top of the East Division.